Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365 and we are doing episode 5. Alright, we're going to call this the transition period, transitioning into our reservoir. So, before we get going on what you need and so forth, take a look at the dates on previously posted videos. I don't know, I don't know them off the top of my head, but this is how long it's taken to get to this point. This is how long it's taken to get to this point now unfortunately let me go back this little piece right here those little guys are not going to make it okay at this stage things need to be at this caliber they need to have a root system this one's not really showing much but there's plenty of other ones that have significant root systems and they really need to start getting air and uh, this way they can grow so I'm going to have two reservoirs set up Okay, for the time being, I'm going to have nine here, and I have five uh, romaine lettuces, and I'm going to have four plants of basil. Honestly, four plants of basil is more than enough. Now, I had a few pieces, of, I had a few basils here, and a few uh, romaine lettuces. They're just not going to make it. They're not going to make the cut. I'm not even going to keep them alive. They're just, they're way too behind, as you can see. They're way too behind. So... First order of business, okay? First order of business, we're gonna put this down here. Put this tray down below. I think initially what we're gonna need to do is, number one, so basically set these guys up, have your lights set up, have these kind of set up on exactly where you're gonna be, um, where you're gonna be doing this. I'm gonna open up like that. First thing first, we're gonna need some, get some water in these, all right? Um, let's do that now. Now that one of them is filled with water, as you can see right here, check that out. For some of you that have not seen just the regular reservoir pumping air through its air stone, through its pump, as you can see, pump, tubing, reservoir, air stone, bubbles. So, I don't know, I'm actually not loving the current airstone I have in there. Now it's different than this one. As you can see, this is the older setup that I used to always do. As you can see, there is um, two little plugs right there. Basically it sits inside. A lot of times these are used for um, aquariums to kind of be on the side of the aquarium. It could be, it, they're usually used for like a light for the aquarium. I realized that by having just the airstone on the plastic part, a lot of times the air stone can deteriorate over time. Now also, depending on the pressure that's being provided through the pump into the aerator stone, it could actually cause a high vibration sound and it gets really loud and really annoying. Now as you can see here, this guy is actually kind of going to the side. I don't like that. I don't want that because now, if you can actually see, a lot of the air bubbles are on this side and this side is being excluded. Now, I'm not into that. So, there, and as you can see, I picked this guy up from, um, I think, Walmart. And I, I'm gonna try it just for, just for giggles. And I'm gonna see what happens. I mean, there's a way to keep it in place, but I'm, I'm not trying to make it an additional job just to keep it in place. Okay, the, the, the reason for these systems is to basically autopilot them and allow them to sustain a growing environment without much, you know, effort once you get everything set up. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Now, uh, after you have put water into your reservoir, after you've connected your tubing into your aerator stone as well as your pump, as you can sound, I mean, I am right next to the pump, you cannot hear a thing. Now, if you buy a pump and it's like an outdoor pump or it's, um, I forgot what kind of pump I, I, I bought previously. Man, that thing was loud and that thing was so hot. These things run so smoothly. These are general hydroponic ones, as you can see right there. That's what you want to buy. This thing is the best. The best. Uh, it does not overheat. It makes a whispering sound. It's fantastic. Now... Once you've added your water to the whole thing, as we just discussed, basically you want to pH that water, okay? After you pH that water, let me bring you over here as what we're going to be needing to do. Number one, you're going to need your clay pebbles. Of course, you're going to need your tubing. That's what I already have in there. 
you're going to need some of these net cups. They look like this. Let me, um, let me show you guys how I'm going to do this. Basically, I take a net cup, okay? And that's, you know, it's a little difficult doing it single-handedly. I put a little bit of uh, clay pebbles inside. As you can see, this is what it looks like. I put some in there, and that's it. Now, the next step here is to add our plant. So let's say, I'm going to take this little guy, okay? The root systems basically go right through the bottom. Alright, let me go ahead and add some here. Whoa, I'm going to get that. Let me just put this right here and let me show you guys what I'm doing. Alright, so basically you take those, uh, take those stones and you kind of want to, number one, put them at the bottom. This will give that support. Number two, you take the stones and you're going to put them around the perimeter this way. The actual, um, the actual rock wool kind of stays in place. And that's all that these things are used for. That's it. There's no additional science to this whatsoever. Even pieces this big, just throw them on the side here. That's all we do. Throw them all on the side. Put them just like that. Let's add just a few more. Kind of like to really top it off with these things. And that's it. I mean, it doesn't have to look pretty. All it needs to do is support exactly what you're looking to do. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay? Sorry if it's been a little dark, but I just made it a little brighter. Basically, this is it. I just drop it in just like that. Now, as you can see, that pod and the water level is perfect. I actually, in the beginning, I actually even like to um, add a little extra water. This way, that aeration actually, basically, it's pooling. It's asking for the roots. Okay? And that's what you want to do. And you want to spread them all throughout here. So, let me actually fast forward, and let's go to the point where all these are filled. And now that everything is filled up, as you can see here, man, it takes a little bit to get these things filled up. It's actually, this is like the hardest part of everything okay this is what takes a long time to um, to do it's like adding the water for each one of these for the uh, pause just to hit the water level right I use a pitcher I mean you got this tent you got these reservoirs you know I don't know if you have a faucet right next to them whatever the way that I bring water to them is through a pitcher takes a little little while it, I mean it's like it's basically like um, I counted, I think it's seven pitchers per reservoir just to get it right. So this is what they look like. Again, pump two tubes into the reservoir. I'm so not happy with this aerator. It keeps sliding over. It's pretty annoying. And actually all the way at the back, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it's actually a more of expensive one. Now this one, as you can see, it's more leveled it's aligned with everything and you have a it's it's just a better kind of spread of the oxygen going to the plants so this is what happened also I'm very unhappy about this this little guy that wasn't supposed to be the guy that was going there okay I actually dropped one of these as I was putting these in snapped them in half and I had to get you know the little bench warmer I didn't think this guy was gonna make it but I'm, I'm praying for him so what do I have here I just wanted to let you guys know nine romaine lettuces here I have five romaine actually now six romaine lettuces and three basils basils are looking smooth look at those little guys in the next week update I will show you and I cannot wait to show you because these things flourish so quickly as if you if you basically feed them properly, they get enormous so quick. 
it's really fun and in the next 30 days in the next like 25 to 30 days you can start eating them I'm actually gonna start maybe eating these a little earlier than I used to where like they're a little sweeter because as they get older they actually get a little more kind of like soury not soury but I'm not sure what the right word is but they're just it just doesn't it's like it's a little bit more I don't know it's just eat them while they're young sounds funny but um, if you actually set the scroll up and you'll venture off into doing your own thing you'll realize that as as they age the taste is just not as right so this is it this was the transition period this is episode five I mean basically this concludes the series though I'll probably go into episode six uh, and I'm gonna call it continuation and after that I'll probably cut the series but overall it's like maintenance from here you know uh, other than um, feeding nutrients actually I'm probably gonna go to episode six and seven because during six maintenance I should include feeding the reservoirs their nutrients and adjusting the pH levels properly as the plants start to flourish so I will do that on the next episode and then the follow-up episode will be harvest so it's gonna be probably a, um, a, a seven episode six or seven episode series so excited that you know as I'm uploading there's a lot of people that are really excited and happy that I'm putting this series together because they're learning a ton and um, you guys are you know we're all in the same in the same community of uh, individuals that like to harvest their own food we want to continue learning on how to go about creating our own food and sustaining our own food if it's indoors or it's outdoors so this is really it I'm gonna cut it here I want to thank you all for watching again make sure to give me the thumbs up make sure to like down below and uh, make sure to subscribe and share on all the social media channels that you're on make sure to you know share it on Facebook wherever it is that you are on Google Plus God knows how many social media outlets there are make sure you share tell your friends and family and I'll see you here on the next episode thanks again for watching guys